Hey guys, it's Ernesto. Welcome back to another Monday Critique. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Monday. I'm having a wonderful Monday. Today we have two fantastic images to critique and I cannot wait to get into it. So after this intro, we'll jump straight into it. If you guys want to submit your image to be critiqued, please join our Facebook group. It's called Fine Art Photography and Modeling. In that group, I created a specific thread where you could submit your images to be critiqued. Hey guys, welcome back. So we have a wonderful image to critique today. This image was submitted by this gentleman. Thank you very much, Rico, for submitting your image and welcome back. All right guys, so now let's look at the lighting in this image. So in this particular image, what Rico have here is a very, very nice cinematic lighting. I really like it, it's very soft. So this seems like this rapid box, um, which is supposed to be like a beauty dish, give out a very, very good quality of light. And it appears it makes the light extremely soft, which is great because I really like how the light is basically complementing the subject really nicely. I really like how you get in all that details in the sky. I mean, from a lighting perspective, this is great. I don't think there's anything in this image that I need to critique from a lighting perspective because we have that nice depth and dimension, which is something that I always look for in an image with respect to lighting. So great job with that. I don't think I have anything else to say with respect to your lighting. I really like it. So with that said, let's move on to the next section. All right, guys, now let's move on to the posing in this image. Overall, the pose in this image is great. Um, there's just a couple of things that I would like to adjust with respect to the pose in that I think will help enhance the pose just a little bit more. So let's start from the top down, okay? So the first thing is when I look at the subject's face um, and her head more specifically, I think our head could just be positioned down just a little bit. If it brought the chin down just a little bit, I think it would have produced a stronger image and a stronger connection um, with the subject. I just think that one slight move with the, with the head movement, which is just bringing the chin down just a smidge, it would have helped with that strong connection. And one more thing, her head is slightly tilted this way a little bit and I think if she'd have straightened her head and connected with that light just a little bit more I think with the combination of her adjusting her chin down just a smidge and straightening her head those two things those two things would have helped make her connection a little bit stronger with respect to the light and also from a viewer perspective it would just make the image a little bit stronger with those slight adjustments with her head so now let's move on to the hands in this image. I really, really like how our hands is. She has some nice soft fingers in this image. Um, there's a, just a couple of things I would adjust with respect to her hands to make this image a little bit better. And first thing is I would have her hands, right now it's positioned way down. So when I'm posing a subject and I'm putting their hands on their hips, what I try to do is bring their hands up as far as possible, as comfortable up on their waist to help define their waist just a little bit more. So the farther up you move that hands as much as comfortably possible for the subject, the more definition you would have for the subject's waist. If you push that hands down, it just basically eliminates that illusion and it just doesn't help with defining the subject's waistline. So one thing I would do immediately, instead of putting our hands on her thigh the way it is right now, I would have bring that up a little bit more on her waist, maybe right where her belt is, I would probably put her hands there. Now her left hands, I would also do the same thing there. I'll put both hands on her hip to help create that stronger pose. So the adjustment of her head and the position of her hands on her hip would help create that illusion of that stronger, more engaging pose in this particular image. 
All right, so now the last thing in this image with respect to posing is her legs. Now, her legs, when I'm looking at her legs, just appears to be a little bit uncomfortable. Now, it's a little bit difficult for me to demonstrate the adjustment that I would like to her to make in this image from a posing perspective, but I will have a video out soon that will show you guys exactly what I mean from a posing perspective, how to pose legs and whatnot. So look out for that video in the future and hopefully that video will help you guys with respect to posing and fixing legs and whatnot. But I just think from a, right now, looking at this particular image, I just think that the leg position just appears to be a little bit uncomfortable and adjusting it just a little bit will help make this image a little bit stronger. But forgetting the legs for a minute, if you just make those slight adjustments with our hands and our head, that will help create a more engaging and stronger image in my opinion. So I hope that was helpful. Let's move on. All right, guys, now let's move on to the composition in this image. So from a compositional perspective, I really, really like the composition. I don't think there's anything that I need to adjust from a compositional perspective in this image. I really think all that negative space that you have on the left hand side, all the negative space on the top of the image, I just think it really, really helps with that cinematic feel that I got when I first initially looked at this image. So great job with that. And I hope all this information was helpful. Well, let's move on. All right, let's talk on camera flash. I use this technique for two occasions. Most folks would generally point it up to the ceiling. You point your flash this way or that way. And that's it. So this is a shot without the flash. But that's with the flash. <laughs> We just wrapped up a on-camera flash workshop. So until the next time, I will see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, now let's move on to image number two. So this image was submitted by this young lady. Thank you very much, Cindy, for submitting your image. Let's jump straight into it. All right, so now let's start out with light. So in this image, Cindy utilized natural light. And she also utilized a reflector to help bounce some light back into the subject's face to help uplift the shadows on the subject's face, which is great. So let's talk about a couple of things that's going on in this image from a lighting perspective and how we can enhance it just a little bit more. All right, so because we have the light coming in from camera right, which is the reflector that's bouncing light back into the subject's face, because that light is on camera right, the problem that that light is creating is with respect to the subject's armpit. So right now there's a lot of light that's right now projecting to the subject's armpit. So it just draws a lot of attention in that area and you basically don't want to draw so much attention to the subject area because it kind of draws your attention away from the subject's face just a little bit so that's the first thing so the other thing is the light quality on the subject's face now overall the light quality on the subject's face is pretty good i really really like it um, the only issue that i have is with the shadows that's under the subject's eyes so the only thing I would have done there is ask the subject to raise her chin up just a little bit so that that reflector that you were using could bounce a little bit more light into her face and help with those shadows under the eye. But other than that, I think um, from a lighting perspective with respect to the subject's face, I think overall the lighting is great there. All right, so the other thing from a lighting perspective is the light, the highlight that's on the subject's right shoulder. Now, I don't particularly mind that highlight so much, but if you wanted to get rid of it or reduce it, um, obviously the easiest thing that you could do is basically move the subject um, a little bit closer to you or basically get a diffuser to help diffuse that light source that's right from behind the subject. 
and that would help just reduce that highlight a little bit. So those are the two things that you could have done if you wanted to get rid of it, which again, like I said, I don't mind it so much, but if you wanted to get rid of it, that, those are the two things that you could have done. Um, I really like also the fact that you utilize the water, which has that harsh light behind uh, the subject to help separate the subject a little bit from the background. I like how you did that. That's pretty awesome there. Um, I just don't like how harsh that light is on the water, but I really like the, the use of um, how you utilize that light to help separate the subject from the background. So overall, from a lighting perspective, I really like the, the use of the reflector in this image to help bounce some light into the subject. And I really like how you separate the subject from the background. So that's it. I don't really have much more to say with respect to your light. So let's move on. All right, guys, so let's move on to the posing in this image. So overall, from a posing perspective, one of the things that I really, really like in this image is the subject's connection to the camera. Um, and I also love the expression. Expression and posing go hand in hand. Um, you just can't have a pose without having a great expression. And I really, really love the expression from the subject in the, this image. Um, Here's a couple of things that I would have adjusted from a posing perspective in this image. So the very first thing that I would have adjusted in this image is just straightening the subject's head just a little bit. So right now it's a little bit like this and I would just ask the subject to, to straighten our head just a little bit more so it's more straight on to the camera. That would be the first thing that I would have adjusted. The second thing that I would have adjusted is her hand that's right now on her head like this. I would ask her to basically come over a little bit like this. So the hand is not hanging off of her head, you know, like this right now, that's what's causing her to bend her head in this fashion. So if her hand was a little bit more over on this side of her head, I think that would help her to straighten her head and it will make the hand appear a little bit more comfortable. All right, so the second thing I would have done in this image is her right hand that's right now on her shoulder here. I would have asked her, instead of putting her right hand on her shoulder in this fashion, I would ask her to bring her hand over on her face on this side, which would have helped frame up her face a little bit more because now this hand would be here and this hand, instead of it all the way over on this side, you know, she'd bring it over this way then it would have been a little bit more, you know, uniform and it would have helped frame her face a little bit more. Now, by her straightening her head just a little bit and raising her chin, which would help her also with those um, shadows under her eyes, that would help her connect a little bit more on to the camera. And I think those slight adjustments from a posing perspective, I think would have helped enhance this image just a little bit more. So, that's it. That's all I have to say with respect to the pose. And I hope that was helpful. All right, guys, now let's move on to the composition in this image. So from a compositional perspective, here's what I would have done from a compositional perspective. I really like the subject's connection to the camera. Now I would have tried to expose that just a little bit more by coming in with a tighter crop on the subject's face. Now, this would also help eliminate those little bit of distraction that we talked about from a lighting perspective, which is the light that's on our um, right shoulder, which like I said, doesn't distract me that much from the image, but if you wanted to eliminate it, that's a third way that you could eliminate that little bit of a light um, distraction on our shoulder. And you also, you could also eliminate the distraction, which is our armpit. You can help eliminate that by coming in with a tighter crop. And lastly, by coming in with a tighter crop, you could also help distract a little bit of harsh light that's in the background uh, just a little bit. So I think those adjustments will help the viewer to connect a little bit more with the subject because her eyes are wonderful. I would like to see a little bit more of a closer um, composition to help us connect a little bit more with the subject. But overall, I really think you did an awesome job with this image. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much. All right, guys, now let's get into the rating of these two images. Light. I gave this image a five. 
pose. I gave this image a three. Composition. I gave this image a five. Overall, this image received a rating of 4.33 out of five. All right, guys, now let's move on to image number two. Light. I gave this image a four. Pose. I gave this image a three. Composition. I gave this image a four. Overall, this image received a rating of 3.66 out of five. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for submitting your images. I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. Guys, I hope you guys got a lot of information from what I had to say, and I hope the viewers got a lot of information from what I had to say. If the viewers of this video have any additional helpful information about these images, please drop that information down below and let's keep this conversation going so it could help the image creators and it could help the viewers of this channel. Guys, if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please put some comments down below. Let me know what you think about my review. And guys, please share this video with your friends and family. And lastly, if you got this far in the video, you must be enjoying the content. So please hit that subscribe button. And guys, I will see you on the next Monday Critique show.